This video is about how to solve question 1 on the partial fractions tutorial. Question 1 says decompose the following expressions into partial fractions. So if I just give myself a bit of space so we can see all of the statements. First of all it says state the problem. So I can copy and paste the question into the text box. But the way it comes across isn't quite right. So let's just fix that. Um, we've got 6x squared. So that needs to have that needs to be squared. That's 33. So we put the divide sign in there. But what this would look like if we just have a look at the syntax. It's 15x plus 33x divided by 6x squared plus 31x minus 30. So only this part here is divided. And that's not what we want. So we need to make sure that we put brackets around the numerator and brackets around the denominator. And now let's see how that is interpreted. And there we go. So the whole of the numerator is divided by the whole of the denominator. And that's what we want. OK, so step two is to factorise the denominator. So let's have a look at how we do that. So it's 6x squared plus 31x minus 30. And that's going to equal two brackets. So first of all, we'll do it by inspection. The fact that this is a 30, which is a comparatively big number compared to 6, makes me think that there's going to be 6x in here and an x in here, because this term times this term must equal 6x squared. Now 30 is factorizable by 2 and 15, 3 and 10, um, 5 and 6, and then we start repeating ourselves. So let's have a look at these last two. I've got to make 31 with the product of the linear terms. So let's try 6 in here and 5 in here. OK, now this needs to be negative, but this term is positive. So I think we're going to have a plus here and a minus here. So let's do a quick sanity check. 6x times x is 6x squared. 6x times 6 is 36x. Minus 5 times x is minus 5x. And minus 5 times 6 is minus 30. And 36 minus 5 is 31, so that is correct. Now what I'd like to do is to repeat that process, but not doing it by inspection, doing it using a calculator. This is the Casio 991, so I'm going to move to equations. And I'm going to solve a polynomial. And it's going to be a quadratic. So the numbers are going to be 6. 31 and minus 30. Click XE again and there's our first root. So X1 is equal to 5 over 6 and X2 is equal to minus 6. Now these are the roots of the equation that is to say, these are the values of x that make this expression 0. Now, if x minus 1 equals 5 over 6, what I can say is 6x minus 5 is equal to 0. And if x is equal to minus 6, I can say that x plus 6 is equal to 0. OK, so the factors of this equation are 6x minus 5 brackets x plus 6, which is exactly what we got previously. So that's two different ways of factorising a quadratic. That 6x squared plus 31x minus 30 is equal to 6x minus 5 times 6x minus 6. And am I right so far? So far, so good. OK, now the next thing we need to do, let's just have a quick look down here, is get the sanity check equation. Now we factorise the denominator, we can say that y is equal to a over the first factor, which was 6x minus 5, plus b over the second factor, which was x plus 6. Now I'd like to put the right hand side over a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply the first term by x plus 6 over x plus 6 and I'm going to multiply the second term by 
6x minus 5 over 6x minus 5, which means that I can write that that is equal to a bracket x plus 6 plus b bracket 6x minus 5, and that is all over 6x minus 5 times x plus 6. If we expand the denominator, we get 6x squared plus 31x minus 30, which means that we can now write minus 15x plus 33 is equal to a times x plus 6 plus b times 6x minus 5. OK, and that's what we call the sanity check equation. Because that is the simplest way of checking whether your values for A and B are correct. So now we can write the sanity check equation. And are we right so far? So far, so good. Right, the next thing we need is the first simultaneous equation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to compare coefficients. So I'm going to first of all take all of the things that have an x in them. So I'll start with the right hand side. So we've got a times x, so we'll have an a. And we've got b times 6x, so that's going to be plus 6b. And that is going to equal, and on the left hand side the only thing with an x in is minus 15, so that's going to be minus 15. And now I'm going to take everything that has no x's in it. So we've got a times 6, so that's 6a. And we've got b times minus 5, so that's minus 5b. And that is equal to 33. And am I right so far? So far, so good. Right, how you solve these equations is up to you. But let me show you how to do it using the calculator. So we're going to select equation simultaneous equations in two unknowns because we've got a and b okay so the values are 1 6 minus 15 and 6 minus 5 33 press x here again the first value is x equals 3 so in our case that means a equals 3 so we'll say a is equal to 3 and then if we press the down arrow, we can get the second value. They call it y, we call it b. So b is equal to minus 3. And are we right so far? Yes, we are. Good. OK, so that's given us values of a and b. Now we need to insert them into this equation to make sure that our values are correct. So we're going to do a, which is 3 outside um, x plus 6, so x plus 6, so it's minus 3, bracket um, 6x minus 5, so 6x minus 5. Now let's expand those. We've got 3 times x, we've got 3 times x, which is 3x, we've got minus 3 times 6x, which is minus 18x, minus 18 plus 3 is going to give us minus 15x, and then we've got 3 times 6, which is 18, We've got minus 3 times minus 5, which is plus 15. 18 plus 15, 15 plus 15 is 30, 3, so that's going to be 33, so plus 33. OK, minus 15x plus 33, minus 15x plus 33, so we can be confident our values are right. So that's the sanity check equation. So finally now we can write the solution to this, which is y is equal to a, which is 3, divided by, um, let's copy it from here, in fact let's take all of that, put that in there, and then b is minus 3 isn't it, so it's going to be minus 3 over x plus 6, and that's our final answer, am I right? Yes I am. And that's how you solve question 1 of the partial fractions tutorial.